In this lecture, we will discuss the image formation in the case of a convex mirror. So, in the case of concave mirror, there were uh, seven different cases, and here the nature of the image will remain same. I mean, uh, we will consider only three cases, and you will easily be able to understand with the help of these three ray diagrams. Right? What we we'll do is first we will consider the object to be placed at very, very far away distance, say at infinity. And thereafter, the object will be brought systematically closer and closer towards the convex mirror. And then we will conclude uh, how the nature of the image gets changed or uh, regarding its position, regarding its size. So that can be discussed only after we draw the ray diagram. So this is case 1. When the object is at infinity, this we have already discussed. Whenever rays are parallel to the principal axis, then in the case of convex mirror, it appears as if the rays are coming from the focus and that is the reason why you are aware convex mirror is also known as a diverging mirror. So this is the focus, we all are aware it is the midpoint between P and C, this is the focus. So here in case 1 we will consider the object to be at infinity. So the rays from that object will be considered to be parallel to the principal axis. Fine. In case 2, we will consider the object to be much closer, not at infinity, much closer than in the case 1. And in third case, we will consider the object to be placed very close to the convex mirror. So, let's read with the first scenario, object placed at infinity. So, these are the two rays coming from infinity, which are parallel to each other as well as parallel to the principal axis. These are the rays coming from infinity, right? So, after reflection, you are aware, it will bounce back into the same medium, like this. It will bounce back into the same medium. So, they will never intersect in this direction, right? So, if you produce it in the backward direction, so it will appear as if the rays are coming from a point somewhere over here. It will appear as if the rays are coming from a point somewhere over here. So, this is where the image is formed. This is where the image is formed. Right? Okay. Point in size. Image is point in size. And image is formed behind the mirror. So it is virtual. So nature is virtual formed behind the mirror. Image is point in size. And image is formed at the focus, exactly at the focus, right? Now consider the object to be placed much closer than in this case. Suppose the object is placed somewhere over here. Now what to do is, this will be, which is parallel to the principal axis. Now after reflection you are aware, after reflection it will appear as if the reflectory is coming from this particular point, which is known as the focus. And I told you, I mentioned you earlier as well, whenever you indicate line behind the mirror, make use of dot lines, represent by dot lines, so imagine lines. Second is, ray getting incident at the pole, this is the angle of incidence, this is the normal, this is the angle of incidence, it will bounce back into the same medium, this is the reflected ray, this is the normal, so this will be the angle of reflection. Any line passing through the center of curvature joining a point on the surface of the mirror that will act as normal. So, this is it. So again, if you produce it in the backward direction, here the intersection is formed. So here the image will be obtained. Show it with the help of dotted lines. This is A dash, this is B dash. These two rays will never intersect in the front side. The gap between them will keep on increasing. So if you produce it in the backward direction, they will intersect over here. Right? So this is the position of the image. So here also, image is virtual. Here it was point in size. So it was immaterial, uh, whether to write erect or inverted. But here, it is found behind the mirror and it is erect. So here write virtual and erect. Image is formed between pole and the focus. P and F. And third, image is diminished. 
that is smaller it's less than 1 and remember n should be positive because image is erect so linear magnification is positive okay try to bring out the similarity on a same only the difference is that here the image is point in size here the image is diminished right third scenario the object is placed very close then what happens is incidentally parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will appear as if it is coming from the focus like this, this is the incident ray it will bounce back into the same area it will appear as if it is coming from the focus second rule this is the incident ray line joining the center of curvature at any point on the surface of the mirror will act as the normal so this will be the angle of incidence it will bounce back into the same medium or being the laws of reflection this will be the angle of reflection both are equal so these are the two reflector rays they will never intersect in the front side so produce it in the backward direction so here they are intersecting so here the image is obtained this is a dash this is b dash just notice the difference notice the difference here also the nature of the image is virtual and erect it is found behind the mirror here also the image is formed between pole and focus here also the size of the image is less than that of the size of the object so m is less than 1 and m is positive but observe these two diagrams very very carefully here the size of the image is much greater than this particular case and consider the position as well here the image has moved closer towards the pole of the mirror observe these three diagrams right here the image is found at the focus here it is between p and f and here it is again between p and f but slightly towards the pole here the size is zero here the size of the image is uh, having some finite size and here the size of the image slightly increases when compared to case 2. So there is a very very important conclusion. Whatever be the position of the object in front of a convex mirror, the nature of the image obtained is always virtual and erect. Image is found always behind the mirror. The size of the image is always less than the size of the object. Therefore, linear magnification is always less than 1. It is always positive. So, image is always diminished. Third is, the position of the image is between P and F. Fourth, very very important conclusion. As the object, we will start with the reverse order. As the object is taken farther away, as the object is taken farther away from the convex mirror, the position of the image the position of the image starts shifting towards the focus and the size of the image also keeps on decreasing and eventually when the object is at infinity then its point size image is obtained at the focus so in I am repeating it's a very very important conclusion as the object is taken farther away from the convex mirror the size of the image keeps on decreasing the position of the image also keeps shifting towards the focus and eventually when the object is at infinity then its point size image is obtained exactly at the focus of the convex mirror right so in the case of convex mirror the nature of the image is always virtual and erect in the case of concave mirror it can be virtual and direct, but only when the object is placed within pole and focus. Otherwise, the nature of the image obtained in the case of a concave mirror is found to be always real and inverted, except that case. Right? There is a practical application of this convex mirror. Uh, we all use vehicles, either two-wheeler or three-wheeler or four-wheeler. Right? In vehicles, uh, we make use of rear view mirror, which is of diverging nature. That is, the mirror which we use uh, to get the rear view in vehicles is of diverging nature that is it is convex mirror 
Why is it so? Because first is it will give us erect image of the object. Second is it will give us wider field of view. Since the image is diminished, since the image obtained in the case of convex mirror is diminished, so it can cover a wider area. So it gives wider field of view. Obviously, it doesn't represent the correct distance of the object uh, in front of the mirror. So that way we need to be cautious. But it gives a wider field of view and the image obtained is erect. So that's one of the very important application of convex mirror.